Hello and welcome to a new kit assembly video. This time it's going to be a uh, some sort of electronic musical keyboard with some uh, touch sensitive keys present on this PCB. Uh, it, although it has this uh, USB plug, I think that's just for power. I don't think it really has a USB interface to connect it to a computer or anything like that. I just think the output goes to this um, uh, buzzer right here or maybe we can connect it to an external speaker but I think that's all I don't think we get any kind of uh, interface with the computer um, this kit was uh, purchased from Banggood it was uh, around five dollars with free shipping and this is the SKU right here if you'd like to order one uh, I don't have any particular use for this kit I just wanted to check it out and uh, it's it's a nice Thing to assembly because I've been assembling mostly through hole kits and this one is a mostly surface mount so we get all the surface mount uh, components like uh, resistors and uh, capacitors we get the buzzer some LEDs the USB socket and it looks like the uh, microcontroller might be already soldered but why are they using this piece of uh, tape here? Maybe it's just placed there, but it's not soldered. Yeah, so I think they placed the microcontroller on this PCB using the uh, adhesive tape just to keep it uh, from uh, bending its legs during uh, shipping. I'm not sure if this is uh, visible on camera, but the microcontroller is an Atmega 8. We also get this... Uh, instruction sheet in uh, with the kit but as usual it's uh, all in Chinese although I can see that keys 1 to 7 uh, represent uh, these musical notes and I think we can also do some combinations using the M key so I'm going to start the assembly by applying some flux I always like to use uh, flux when soldering even though the um, solder I'm using does have flux in the inner core it's always nice to use extra flux on your soldering because you get so much better results i'm going to start by soldering the microcontroller and it looks like uh, pin one goes right here on the pcb we have the key labeled right here and we need to align that with the um, key present on the actual microcontroller package so this will have to be soldered in this position right here so I usually start by um, applying just a bit of solder to uh, just one of the pads. This will be my anchor point. Next I'm positioning my microcontroller and aligning it correctly before uh, applying heat to that uh, pin that uh, we're going to be used as an anchor. Next, I'm going to tack another pin on the opposite side with some solder. And right now the microcontroller is firmly attached to the PCB and I can continue soldering all the other pins. This tip that I'm using for, uh, for the job, you might think it's too big and you might be right. Uh, you should use a tip that you're comfortable of, of working with. I'm generally using this tip for all the jobs that I do I kind of uh, I'm kind of experienced with soldering so it's not a problem for me I'm going to apply just a bit more flux on the pins flux is very useful when soldering these uh, fine pitch components because it prevents solder bridges from forming so here is a closer look of me soldering this um, QFP package sorry about the funny angle but it's but it's the best that I could do and uh, still keep the uh, camera away from the soldering iron so that I can do the actual soldering. So I'm slowly going um, across all pins and dragging, um, I don't know, uh, I think longitudinally across each pin. And at the same time checking for solder bridges because this is a great angle to be working on 
you want to be viewing the uh, package from the side because that way solder bridges are really easy to spot. So I think I did a good job with this uh, microcontroller. Now I'm going to continue with some um, other components. So the AMS triple one seven is soldered. Now let's continue with some of the um, resistors. Let's do these one K resistors uh, and ten meg resistors that go across each LED. Let's see, one K should be one zero two marked on the resistors, and are these ones right here? And this is the uh, usual process when you take resistors out of that packing tape more than half of them end up the uh, wrong side up so you have to flip them before soldering. So you see the same process I'm applying solder to just one of the pads. Now if I pick up a uh, resistor by the way these are 0805 resistors and if um, I hold one of these with my tweezers, I can hit the uh, pad with the solder. And that side is done. It will not move. I can then continue and uh, do the other side as well. I'm quite comfortable working with these uh, 0805 uh, resistors. I don't need any magnification when soldering these. But it would be nice to work under a microscope solely because of the um, way you you watch the uh, the job you're doing from the top and it would also make it much easier to film it because I'm really working on a, at an awkward uh, angle here to offer you this view so all the uh, 1k resistors are uh, secured on the bottom side with solder now I'm going to apply more flux and uh, solder the other side as well. There are three one microfarad capacitors that also need to be installed and there are these uh, small 0805 capacitors. I guess that I would normally use uh, a 0.1 microfarads for decoupling the microcontroller and that's also recommended in the datasheet but they just decided let's use a single value across the uh, PCB and simplify the bomb of this project. So these capacitors should be soldered the same way I soldered the uh, resistors. Uh, you tack one side first and then you uh, solder the other side. This tantalum capacitor is uh, 100 microfarads and as you can see that uh, very slim orange uh, line that you see on the left of the capacitor, that represents the positive of this capacitor and we need to take care and uh, ensure we get the polarity right when soldering in on the PCB so it should go in like that. The crystal oscillator doesn't have any polarity indicator so this guy could go in any way you like it but it's usually uh, nice to mount it in a, in a way that you can read its value so if this uh, PCB is meant to be used in this position I would mount the crystal oscillator like that so that, so that we can easily read its value. As for these uh, SOT23 transistors, they should be mounted exactly the same way as we soldered the resistors and the capacitors. Just touch one of the pins to get some uh, mechanical stability first and then continue with the other pins. It appears the buzzer does have its uh, polarity marked, so we need to make sure we get that right on the PCB. The footprint uh, doesn't have exactly the same pin spacing as this uh, buzzer, so don't try to force it too much because as you can see these, uh, the, there is a lot of stress right now on these uh, leads, so I'm going to leave it uh, just a bit spaced from the PCB. As for the LEDs, the longer lead is the positive, 
So make sure you get the polarity right when soldering them, otherwise they will not uh, work. And try to solder them roughly at the same height. That will uh, just make, the, make it uh, look nicer when it's uh, finished. So this is how the kit looks like with all the parts soldered in. Let me just change the uh, camera angle and uh, try to apply power to this kit and see if we did a good job with the assembly or not. Now of course the big question is will this uh, have the firmware loaded onto the Atmega or not? If not, uh, there is a download link on the Banggood page and uh, I am quite familiar with programming uh, Atmegas so that won't be an issue but it would be nice to have the firmware already loaded just for the users that are not familiar with programming microcontrollers or they don't have the necessary uh, programmers. So let's use this uh, power bank and plug in into this USB port. So it looks like it's uh, playing some tune but I don't see any way of oh okay it stopped okay yeah so we also get manual mode okay let me hold it like this so you get no reflections <laughs> yeah so it seems to be working it's it's kind of silly but I'm quite happy that it works and I didn't uh, solder anything uh, incorrectly and uh, most most of all I'm quite uh, happy because the firmware is already loaded on the microcontroller so we don't need to figure all that out on, uh, on ourselves yeah so this USB plug is just for power it seems like we also get some uh, TXRX pads right here broken out from the microcontroller I'm not going to even bother checking those out this looks like a programming header in here and by pressing the uh, menu key as you can see it goes into an automatic uh, mode where it plays some tune and by hitting any of the keys it will stop and exit that mode I think there is only one tune or maybe we can do a combination by holding the M key because that was advertised in the uh, instruction sheet that you can make uh, combinations okay so it's multi-touch I can trigger multiple of these nodes but the uh, combination with the menu key doesn't appear to be doing anything So thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it interesting, it was fun for me to build uh, this kit and uh, if you'd like to purchase one there will be a link in the description below as well as links to all the tools used in the uh, assembly of this kit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, maybe like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.